a remarkable story, Christine, and I can tell you this, that our assignment desk has been working the story as well, and they just spoke to the victim in this case. He's in the hospital, and all things considered, is doing remarkably well. As you just mentioned, the Good Samaritan in this case did leap into action, and of course, he's been very worried about the victim in this case, and as you watch the video, and I will tell you that it's sometimes difficult to watch it, please remember that the victim is doing well tonight. He goes into surgery tomorrow, but he's doing well. But the story began on the 14 freeway going north. He was only a couple feet from the carpool lane. And he was mentally there. First thing he said was, how's my wife? It's Monday morning, 1130. Alf Smithy is traveling north on the 14 freeway in the carpool lane when suddenly he says the RV several lanes over comes flying over and cuts him off, crashing into the divider. Smithy slams on the brakes and rushes in to help. Oh my God, he flew through the window. The dash cam on a car headed the other way captures the treacherous moment on camera. And that driver moves urgently to avoid what he thinks is debris. But it's not debris. It's a passenger ejected from the RV. We show that good Samaritan, Alf Smithy, the accident in real time. I didn't see him fly out. And this is the only video I've ever seen him fly out on. 24 hours later, we are watching the footage with Smithy, who is holding his young son. He's still rocked by what he witnessed and worried about the victim. I started running the, the center divider until I saw him and I jumped down and ran to him. This is Smithy's video taken near the New Hall exit. He concludes that at impact, the victim was thrown through the driver's window of the RV. His head shattered the window and ended up on the southbound side of the freeway. Watch closely. We've slowed down the footage of the dash cam vehicle, swerving to miss the victim. All right. There's the window. Oh, there's the screen, dude. His head broke the screen. The video by the side of the freeway shows a man severely injured, bloodied, but still verbal and asking desperately about his wife's condition. First thing out of his mouth, how's my wife? How's my wife? Witnesses say emergency responders were there within 15 minutes. You see the victim receiving triage here. He was rushed to the hospital. I want to know if he survived. I want to know how he's doing. I don't know how he's doing. Like, I haven't heard anything since. Well, as we just told you, the victim is doing remarkably well. He goes into surgery tomorrow, we are told. And it's our understanding that the victim in this case looked over and saw that his wife, who was at the wheel, had fallen asleep. He tried to reach over to take control of the vehicle, but was unable to do so. And at the point of impact, according to witnesses, he was ejected and landed over on the other side of the freeway. But again, he is alive, he is doing well, and will have more more information from him as soon as I'm able to speak to him. But quite a tale to tell you. I still can't believe it, even as I'm recounting it to you.